10, 10 30. Okay. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Good morning, my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. I tried to film this video yesterday. I tried to film it yesterday, but I was having car troubles and I was at the car place for I think like three or four hours and my whole day was just like gone. So couldn't do that. So we're gonna do it today. Currently 10.30 in the morning. I woke up at nine, um, but I think it's cause I took melatonin. I like looked at my phone, turned the alarm off and I was like, all right, let's go. And then I don't know what happened after that, but then I ended up waking up again at like 10, 15-ish. So I, I don't know, I think I just blocked out. <laughs> First thing I'm gonna do is go to the gym, drink some pre-workout, go to the gym. And something I wanna do is I wanna go to Starbucks and hope to God they have oat milk because the last time I was there, they didn't. It was very upsetting. But I think I kinda wanna get some Starbucks breakfast. I did go to Publix yesterday, so I kinda went grocery shopping yesterday. There's something that I wanna get at Whole Foods that I don't think I can really get anywhere else. Like I've looked at all the Publixes and I haven't been able to find it so i think i have to get it at whole foods but there are these like just egg little muffin bites i don't know if i've shown them on my channel before i don't think i have but they're so so good and i want to show you guys them anyway i'm gonna drink some pre-workout catch up on some webtoons because i'm pretty behind my webtoons and that'll be the start to our day this is the pre-workout i use i'm going to california on sunday to see mary and her mans so i'm really excited to go see them so this is alani new island crush pre-workout it's pretty good god i'm so behind on webtoons but i like when i'm behind on webtoons because then i can just like read a bunch at once instead of only being able to read like one episode of each the one i recommend the most is see you in my 19th life that's like my favorite one so it's been a while since i've gone to like the gym gym i mean i go to my apartment gym quite a bit but like i feel like it's been a hot minute since i've gone to the gym i love going to the gym gym like making the ride to the gym getting in that like environment helps a lot gym environment is so freaking important that's why i give like huge props to people that solely do at-home workouts like i know people some some people just prefer at-home workouts some people love at-home workouts but for me i don't know how it is for you guys but for me i can't get like in the zone with an at-home workout like I'll do it, I'll do it, but I won't have fun. I don't know, I just need the environment of like a gym. It helps a lot, that's just for me. So it also helps is just like the drive to the gym, playing certain songs, certain playlists, certain music, whatever, helps tremendously. So what song screams, like get ready for the gym? <laughs> outside literally freaking pouring i feel like i just took two showers walking to my car then walking out of my car back into my apartment just got back from the gym my camera died while i was there very unfortunate because i didn't get to film everything but i have a solid workout solid finish it off with like 20 minutes on the stairmaster stairmaster always be humbling me shout out to her i literally did 20 minutes and i felt like i was 
I'm dying. I'll be like, you know what? I'm not like that out of shape. And then I go to the Serum Master and I'm like, huh. Anyway, <laughs> ooh, my hair looks bad. Ooh, 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 ooh. But we're, you know, hair training and we're not gonna wash our hair today. But I am gonna shower. I'm gonna shower really quick and then finally make some breakfast because I'm starving. I did order Starbucks. Should be here. Probably take a little bit. So I'm gonna shower, maybe, you know, put on some makeup so I feel pretty. Not saying I don't feel pretty without makeup. I'm just saying putting on makeup, I like the act of putting on makeup and I just like the feeling, I like doing it and I like the feeling that I feel afterwards. Like I'm not doing it for anyone aside from myself. It just makes me feel good. And then eat breakfast, go to Petco, maybe not go to the grocery store because I really want to get started on like editing and things like that and it's already, Almost 3 p.m. Again, I did go yesterday, so I don't really need to go today. I kind of like making the drive sometimes because I just like blast music and then I like walking through Whole Foods. It brings me a lot of peace for some reason. The fact that it's pouring outside, maybe not the best idea. So maybe I'll just start on like editing. That'll be the game plan. I just got out of the shower. I had to make a few calls, so didn't have time to like take a shower and do my makeup before my Starbucks came. They gave me water too, which like, thank you. I didn't ask for it, but I was like, oh, that was a nice little touch. And my matcha latte, which I would rather drink out of a mug. <sighs> That's just divine. By the way, if you can hear um, my air fryer on in the background, it's because I'm making French fries because I'm having a bacon, egg and cheese on a bagel <sighs> with fries on the side. I was gonna make like roasted potatoes, but I don't have any. The only form of potato I have right now are French fries, which I'm like, I'm not complaining. It's so good, man. It's so good. I finished making my, my whatever this is, liner, because it's 4 p.m. Liner, lunch, dinner. Actually, every first meal is breakfast because you're breaking your fast. Bagel is too small. That's why I like getting Whole Foods bagels because nothing will compare to New York and New Jersey bagels and things like that. For around here, Whole Foods is, from what I've seen, some of the better ones that I can get. Like it works. I feel like my hair is already fading. Mmm, like the bacon doesn't even fit. It's so good. We're actually only gonna be doing a four person podcast because Daniel in the background wants to eat instead of record. Who, wait, who you watched, did you guys watch Friends? Friends? Did you guys watch Friends? I mean, um, a couple episodes. Yeah. Yeah. I never got into it though. Wait, no, but that doesn't wait, work. Wait, 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 yeah, no, wait, wait. what are some bad traits about you, Sage? The other ones, like, I don't even know how to explain it really. Or turn it on and watch it. Oh, is he the one with the big ass nutties? Oh, really? I don't know, it's a weird thing that I'm trying to do, but not like all but, the way there. No, she's like considered. I do. <laughs> so, okay, you're sending me some. Uh, nah, she's not. No, that. she's ugly. Yeah, she's hot. Not. Yeah, but they don't know who this is. Oh, yeah, she's hot, ugly. She's so now it's like 6 p.m. Yeah, it's like 6 p.m. I'm gonna go to Petco and stock up on some food for the kitties. I hate leaving them. I wish I could just bring them literally everywhere with me. I gotta drop them off at the boarding place in a few days. Once I move to California, because I'm going to. Once I move to California, I feel like I will be traveling less because I travel a lot to like see my friends and the idea to like have them spend money to come here to see me, to come here, makes me so depressed because there's nothing. So I feel like when I move to California, it'll be different because I'm like, yeah, we could do things in California. So I feel like it'll be better. It'll be easier for like my friends to come to me and I won't have to board the cats as much because I hate leaving them. Literally one of my least favorite things in the world is getting boarding from my cats. Anyway, let's make the drive to Petco. What is the playlist? Yeah, let's go this. Olivia Rodrigo, baby. This is one of my favorite songs by her. Now that I love you so bad, I let you treat me like that. It's so good. All right, let's go. Damn, certain lines kind of hit. Just so I could call you mine. Over? Nar. Oh. oh, I love this song. Oh, I love this song. I feel like I should make a playlist and just title it like, this shit hits, but like in a sad way. Not like this shit, not like this slaps, man, this goes hard. I mean like, damn, this, this hits. 
<laughs> like through tears. This, this kind of hits, man. I don't know how people film in public. I feel like I can film in public when I'm with friends or something because they make me feel a little bit better. But like by myself, I'm like, oh my God. Because I care so much about what people think about me. And I don't know why. I don't know why. I wish I wasn't like that. But for some reason, I care so much about what people think about me that I can't film in public if people can see me. I have to be so discreet and secretive. Because it looks weird, right? Because it almost looks kind of creepy if someone catches me filming. Especially because people will catch me filming usually because they accidentally like get in the frame. That's so embarrassing, bruh. That's so embarrassing. I've been doing this for years you'd think i'd be like used to it by now but nar i feel like you gotta be super successful on youtube to like be used to it or maybe not even them are people that are even like super successful on youtube used to it i don't know i just i need to lean i need to learn the art of like not giving a fuck. but i give so much of a fuck. like a massive fuck. so many fucks. multiple massive fucks. all the time let's go to pet Cart's almost full, it'll feed them for a week. Mentally, I'm just feeling very overwhelmed because um, I took the last two weeks off of, you know, uploading. As you guys can tell, I'm going to California next week, so probably won't be able to upload next week. So I really want to get this up on time, but I have to edit this video, obviously. I haven't started that, but I have casting in about an hour, which if you don't know what casting is, it's like a Twitch thing that I have to do for my friend's tournament. So I have that in an hour. Tomorrow I have stream, and then I have to practice with my team late at night tomorrow. If I pull an all-nighter tonight, that'll be really difficult to do. I haven't eaten, I'm really, really, really hungry, so I wanna eat. <laughs> It's just, um, I'm just really stressed. I'm just really stressed. And I feel like if I take the time to de-stress, I will be letting people down. So anyway, I'm gonna make some mac and cheese. I have chicken nuggets. I can have it with chicken nuggets. That sounds pretty good right now. Yeah, let's, let's do that. I'm gonna be using this mac and cheese. I had the original one and it's really, really, really good. It's almost one in the morning. <laughs> Hey guys, so let's have a little talk, shall we? So as you guys can probably tell, my consistency on YouTube, my upload schedule has been pretty um, terrible to say the least. The funny thing is that I'm actually filming every week and editing entire videos, but then deciding that I'm not happy with how it turned out and throwing the whole thing away. And I won't lie, it started to feel like a waste of time in a way, like filming and editing only to be unhappy with the results. And all the time I put into filming and editing goes to trash. So it's kind of just like lost a little bit of motivation and it's taken a bit of a toll on my mental. And I'm not saying this to use it as like a transition to, I'm not gonna be uploading on YouTube for a while. I'm gonna be taking a break or anything like that. I'm just saying it to explain what's been going on with me and why videos have been so inconsistent. I've been going through a few things behind the scenes that I'm not really comfortable talking about on social media, but just know that I, really really am trying my best i know it might not look like that it's just my best isn't that great right now but i am trying my best to put out content that i'm at least a little proud of it's just been really difficult as of late i have so many video ideas that i want to film for you guys but for the past few weeks and honestly even for the past few months i just felt like i don't get enough hours in the day since streaming for longer hours posting more consistently on tiktok which by the way 
editing for TikTok takes a lot of time, surprisingly. But since doing all of that, also participating in a gaming tournament for my friend, casting for another gaming tournament, getting picked up by an org for streaming and content creating on Twitch, it's just been a lot. Not to mention wanting to still give time to the people that I love and care about, give time and effort to the important relationships in my life. I've been a bit overwhelmed, so as I still continue to adjust, I want to take the time to say thank you to you guys. You guys have never made me feel bad about taking some time for my mental. You've never made me feel guilty for being late on uploads. I make myself feel guilty, but you guys have never ever done that. And you've never made me feel guilty for taking longer than I usually would. You have continued to support me through everything. Some of you guys have been here, have been doing this for years, and I can't even begin to explain how much you mean to me and how much I appreciate you. So thank you for helping me continue to do what I love to do and I will continue to do my best. But I just wanted to talk to you guys, give a bit of an update slash explanation as to what's been going on with me. And yeah, I, I love you guys a lot. Probably a lot more than you realize. So thank you. And, and of course, before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing. You are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!